Silent Army, AMD Zcash Solver, Extremos Updated Miner, and RX 470 and RX 480 Silent Army Benchmark Tests. First we're going to look at Extremo's updated miner. He has updated his miner with the Silent Army solver. We can see the current release 0.2.1 using Silent Army. Now I was only able to get this working in Linux. Windows kept crashing so I'm using Ubuntu Linux here. You can go to the Dropbox, click on download, save the file, OK. Hopefully the Windows version is fixed without any crashing soon. We can open the containing folder. Extract it. Open the folder. Now we need to edit the configuration file. I'm going to go and copy my Zcash address here. Paste it into the configuration file. Then I'm going to give my machine a worker name. Give my rig a worker name. RX Army. It's already on AMD for platform, so no changes there. And I can add one device here, because it says if I have more to add one. Actually, you don't need to. It seems to run fine without doing this. But I'll do it just in case. Now I'll save this. Everything seems good. Click Save. Close the configuration file. Go back into the Zcash client folder. So I'm going to open a terminal from that folder. Then I'm going to right click on the miner and copy the name. In my terminal I'm going to type dot backslash and then paste the name of the miner and hit enter. You can see it starts up, sees all six GPUs. I'm using a mix of RX 470s and 480s here. Now it's going to mine twice on each one so it's going to look like there's 12 GPUs mining from 0 to 11. You can see down at the bottom there it says thread 11 started. As you go up 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, all the way to 0. It's already mining here, finding a lot of shares. GPU 4, GPU 10, GPU 10, GPU 3, GPU 7. It's kind of, it's running the Silent Army solver twice on each GPU. And this enables it to get a much higher solutions per second, a much higher solutions rate almost 40 solutions per second, between 36 and 40 solutions per second. Here we can see the GPUs and the solutions per second I'm getting from 17.7, 17.5 to 19, 19.2. So you have to add these together to actually get the rates though. So the cards are actually hashing at something between 35 and a half, 36 to 38, 39 solutions per second. This should give you an idea of the speeds you're going to be getting with your AMD 470 and 480 cards. Again, here we can see the solutions per second. This is really a great increase compared to the prior AMD miner. AMD solver. Before we were just getting 17, 20 if you were really lucky solutions per second. Now you're getting double that. Hopefully the NVIDIA solvers can play catch up and increase their solutions per second also. We'll have to wait and see. At the same time, the AMD solvers could increase in solutions per second also. There could be improvements and optimizations made. In the future will tell. So again, here we can see our solutions per second.
Gen Oil has come out with his miner too. It's also freezing a lot in Windows, so hopefully we see that working soon. That should give similar rates to this. And Silent Army Solver should be implemented in other miners like the NHEQ miner so that we can use it on all sorts of different pools. We're not just stuck on coins for all using this miner. Sapphire Nitro Plus RX480 8G with modded BIOS benchmark. Here I'm running the solver twice on one GPU. So you can see two terminals here running the command. And we get 20.8 solutions per second on each of them, which gives us a total of 41.6 solutions per second on a single card. Run it a second time here just to confirm the numbers. And again, 20.8 solutions per second. So you can see you can get past 40 solutions per second on a modded RX480. Here's a Sapphire Nitro Plus RX 470 4G with modded BIOS. Here we get 19.8 solutions per second on each of them. So that's 39.6 solutions per second on a 470 with modded BIOS almost exactly as good as the 480. There's really not much difference between the 470 and the 480. Price to performance this card is far ahead. 19.7 on that run. So we're getting between 39.4 and 39.6 solutions per second on those benchmarks. Here's a Sapphire Nitro Plus RX 470 4G with a standard BIOS. sixteen point three solutions per second on each of them so almost three percent almost three solutions per second lower on each of them for a combined total of six solutions per second lower on this card you're getting almost thirty three solutions per second so that's quite an increase in performance just through the modded BIOS similar to ethereum mining and mining other coins with your modified RX 470 and 480 BIOS. So here we get 32.6 solutions per second, 16.3 on each of them. So this should give you an idea of how these miners are going to perform and what you can get with your AMD card. I hope you like this video. I hope it helped and thanks for watching.